Hey guys, it's Red from Sarge and Reds, and you're used to seeing Sarge, aka John, but today is your lucky day because you get me. So, we were going through some of our Christmas stuff and came across these Christmas boxes, but I have a question first. If I said to you, piggy, piggy, boot, hat, doggy, hat, boobies, what would you say? That I'm crazy? You'd be right. Technically, you'd be right. But that is actually the order that the salt and pepper shakers were displayed at our old house. And um, we used to sing that chant with our kids. Don't ask. It's just a weird thing that families all have them. Anyway, so uh, we were unpacking them. We found them during Christmas. And I thought, we haven't touched these boxes in two years. Maybe we don't need to keep them. So we thought, let's go through them. Let's do a video. Let's share them with you guys. And uh, go from there. So... Without further ado, I'm gonna share with you Goodbye Cruel World. It's one of my favorites. This little dude flushing himself down the toilet. <laughs> so this little guy, he really does say Goodbye Cruel World on there. Um, he comes out, he's in a little toilet trying to flush himself away. I, I, they're a little bit dirty, a little bit dusty. They've been kinda tucked up on some shelves and then packed away and not touched for a while. Uh, I, he's got his little chain, he can flush himself down probably wouldn't really put salt and pepper in them um but this guy oh gosh john definitely got him he brought him home one day um we used to like just troll the uh the local uh, antique stores we do what we would call like touristing in our own hometowns um around and uh kind of hunt for salt and pepper shakers it was kind of our thing and this was one of the first ones and then you see these guys um they're pigs. You're going to see we have a lot of pigs. I kind of have a thing for pigs, specifically flying pigs, but it kind of translated into uh, just pigs in general. So um, these guys are also from Japan. I'm trying to remember where we picked these guys up. It might have been <clears throat> one of the uh, antique stores in Berkeley Springs. We got quite a few from the antique stores out there. Um, these guys have cute little eyes, and uh, some of their paints weren't off, but still really cute. Porcelain little figures. Two little doggies. Uh, let's see, Japan again. A lot of these are, are marked from Japan. They're really porcelain. Um, pretty fragile, actually, because unfortunately we did have a few that uh, didn't survive. Uh, these guys are cute, but these are identical. A lot of them, the ones I like are usually um, complementary instead of identical, but these guys are identical. They even have the, oh, no, three and two. Gosh, you would think, for somebody who collects salt and pepper shakers, I would know which one is pepper and which one's salt. I think the two are pepper and the three are salt. I'd have to double check that, or somebody can correct me at two. Um, but these cute little dudes, and I keep banging them together. Two little lions. I picked these up from... It was an. It was like one of those big um, antique kind of festivals or town festivals in West Virginia, um, and I I was with my neighbor and her daughter and um, gosh, it wasn't I'm trying to remember the name of the festival, but it was um, one of the one of the vendors that was stationed uh, put you know we put up a little booth and everything out at, at the festival had these out and I thought they were so cute with these two little lions so. Uh, I picked them up. They are um, similar but not the same and they don't really have marks on the bottom to tell you where they're from. But uh, another cute little set. Now these, I know exactly where they came from and I'll tell you why they're special. These say Deep Creek Lake on them. Two little wood stoves. Um, they are metal. Some kind of metal. Um, but I picked them up because that is where John and I got married at Deep Creek Lake. But I didn't get them at Deep Creek Lake. I'm sure we found these in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia again at um, one of those antique shops out there that we would frequent. <laughs> these make me laugh. I love it. I love the complimentary ones. This is a pig getting a shave. I mean, come on, obviously. Why not? How could you pass up a little piggy all lathered up ready to get a shave in a barber chair come on now how cute is this so these guys japan again ceramic a little bit dusty but adorable i don't remember where these came from i think this might be one that john found um but 
So cute, right? Super cute. <laughs> I keep laughing as I open these. All right. I'm full of. Or I'm full of. <laughs> now in this case, let's see. Oh, the three was pepper and the two was salt. I had it wrong, but these cute little outhouses with some nudie booty girls. Uh, let's see, are these marked on the bottom? No, those aren't marked on the bottom, but too funny. Um, gosh, I think these would be another one that John picked up somewhere and brought home to me. But yeah, I'm full of P or I'm full of S. Too funny, right? Now, not everything in the collection is antique. These are newer because they are kissing koalas. How cute are those guys? Little magnets by their mouths, but they're smiling faces. So are they Eskimo kissing? What's going on here? I don't know, but uh, they are not marked on the bottom either. I think this might have been an Amazon. Or no, this was a gift, wasn't this? Didn't this come from our Aussie brother-in-law? I think these came from our Aussie. Uh, they might have even come straight from Australia, to be honest. Um, he might have brought them back from Australia for us, but I thought they were just cute because they're kissing koalas. Okay. Newly married couple. We're so happy. We're in love. Oh, wow. And then... Maybe a couple years in. Oh my gosh. The whole ball and chain. I'm so tired of these people. Ah, How funny are these guys? These are our, we have a couple sets actually of before and after. <laughs> Salt and pepper shakers. How cute are these guys? This doggy has a message for you. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. <laughs> and he's chasing his tail. Cute little two piece. I love this little guy. He's so cute. Japan again. They made the best salt and pepper shakers, I tell you what. So, yeah, they kind of. Let's see if I can get them to. There you go. Hi, friend. Is he saying hi to us because it's on this side, or is he saying hi to his tail and his tail's his friend? What do you think? Super cute. Doggy. And a fire hydrant. What does a dog do on a fire hydrant? He pees on it. This is one you've got to like position just right. So he's peeing on this fire hydrant. This is what I mean, like complimentary ones. They're so much they're so much better than matching. So much better. On your little dog peeing on the fire hydrant. There's a bench. He sits on it. Well, he's supposed to sit on it. And he's got his uh, moonshine jug. Now, I know we picked this up from West Virginia. This one probably came from Harper's Ferry. I think the big Harper's Ferry, yeah. Uh, um, it was like, it's, it was in downtown Harper's Ferry in like a big like warehouse looking place. They had a huge antique shop. So we found him in there. I mean, how could you not pick up the dude? I thought this had X's on it, but I guess it doesn't says set on it um, but he's got his jug of moonshine hanging on on the bench with his cool red hat and his ragamuffin jeans <laughs> I'm just hanging out here <clears throat> howdy partner I think I'm gonna ride this bull da -da, da -da. <laughs> oh man these guys are cute I really like this cowboy Japan how cute are they? Although the bull looks like he's been shot in the face. <laughs> he looks like he's taken three bullets to the head. And uh, back of the cow. I wonder if one day somebody actually used these for salt and pepper shakers. Like, did they sit on somebody's table and they actually used them at one point in time? I don't know. But they're cute. <laughs> Here are another set of before and afters. Told you I had more. These are the ones I got. How could you possibly resist these? Um, not sure exactly where I picked them up, but definitely, I definitely picked these up in person from a antique shop. Um, gosh, I don't remember which one though, but before and after, he's looking kind of proud. 
Her belly's a little bit round. <laughs> How cute. Uh, no marks on those, but before and afters. Before and after. All right, keeping with the pig theme. We've got two little, whoa, good thing this is soft. <laughs> two pigs in a feed bag. Cute. We've got another bench. Let's see who sits on this bench. Hmm, I don't even remember this one. Oh my gosh, I don't even remember this one. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, kissing. I wanted to say kissing cousins, but that would be so wrong. What does it say? It says, yeah. Japan. What does it say? Use scotch tape over the hole. <laughs> okay, guys, if you want to use these, use scotch tape over the hole. That's funny. Okay, now I know these came from, these came from up here in Michigan. Who knows who these, who this guy is? He's very dusty. It's Bob's Big Boy, who I'm corrected all the time. It's just Big Boy, it's not Bob's. But I grew up in Maryland, so in Maryland he was Bob's. Up here, he's Elias Brothers or just Big Boy. So, cute. I know that they came from a antique shop I think in Lexington maybe um, definitely up this way on one of our many vacations before we moved I told I said at the beginning right I said the phrase that we used was piggy piggy boot hat doggy hat boobies right so I'm sure you can figure out why we had the piggies and the dogs haven't seen the boot and the hat yet but Here's the boobies. <laughs> the spice of life. I mean, really. Really, look at these. These are the boobies, and the boobies are the salt and pepper shaker part. Ah! So, yeah, there you go. Piggy, piggy, boot, hat, doggy, hat, boobies! And, yes, we did teach our kiddos to say that. How funny is this one? This one, my favorites. This is this one's too just too cool. All right. Here comes another cowboy. Dun, 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 dun. Off to the races. Yeehaw, partner. <laughs> this horse doesn't look too happy. This kid looks, looks like he's jumping on. He's kind of big for this horse, actually. But he fits. They fit. This is our very first set that we bought. Of course, a Mr. and Mrs. Pig, right? Bride and Groom Piggy. This is the very first one that started me on the collection journey. I think we got this at a antique shop out in Deep Creek Lake when we first got married, and I just thought they were adorable. Pigs, of course, Bride and Groom had to get them. And another cowboy. This guy's wearing a mask, man. He was already ready for 2020. And he's got his trusty steed. Cops and robbers. This guy's he's hiding his money behind his back. What do you call those guys? Uh, Keystone cops. This Billy Club. Oh. And then we have the bears climbing the tree. How cute. These guys hang on their little tree. He needs some salt and pepper, you grab one. Again, I never use any of these for actual salt and pepper. Last, but not least, Billy Ken and Billy Can't. Sitting on the toilet. Billy Ken, Billy Can't. Billy Ken looks pretty happy. Billy Can't looks a little worried. <laughs> Don't ask, I have no idea. They just. They make the weirdest ones, and they're hysterical. So there you have it. That's our salt and pepper shaker collection. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. Keep an eye on our website, because I think some of them might go up for sale soon. Not all of them, because I got that wave of nostalgia, and definitely don't want to part with all of them. But some of them will probably go up. 
I hope you enjoyed this little trip down my memory lane and hearing me say cute a lot of times. Sorry about that. Um, but go ahead, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell. All that fun stuff that all the cool YouTubers say these days. And uh, we'll see you next time.